environmental issues uh, in a broad sense, not only glo global climate change, but also what are the environmental consequences of increasing urbanization. Um, so environmental concerns are there. Uh, the issues of winners and losers in the global economy and how they're distributed. So growing inequality at both the national and international level uh, is, a, is a particular concern, uh, especially as the, the divide between the very rich and the very poor is, is widening. Uh, and sometimes not between countries, but between people within countries. Uh, that sense in which 5,000 children die every day from diarrhea, which is easily and very cheaply uh, remediable, uh, contrasts with growing obesity around the world. So we have this uh, marked inequality with, with issues at, at either scale of the, the income, at either end of the income scale. Other issues would be how do we fashion a global identity or a global awareness while still maintaining national interests and local concerns? Uh, some of the big issues require some form of global cooperation. But at the same time as that happening, new forms of nationalism are appearing. Uh, new forms of religious fundamentalisms are, are appearing. So we're in this period in which we have, on the one hand, pressing global and national concerns. And in the same sense, the rise of movements that tend to see quite simple answers, and answers in unitary terms, them and us, you and me. Um, but at the same sense, we're at a time of very fluid, flexible identities. Uh, in the United States, it's fairly common, African-American, Irish-American, but more and more, that's a phenomenon found around the world. We have Chinese diasporas around the world. So to be Chinese, what does it mean to be Chinese in San Francisco compared to Chinese in Singapore or Shanghai? So these issues of identity, uh, changing identities in a globalizing world, these are issues that are exercising the minds and, and research of geographers.